11 minutes and 20 seconds. That is the time during which you cannot cross this line over there. Left versus right. Undead against Elf. Sheik against Starbuck. And Starbuck opting to play Night Elf this time around. He was human in his first match. He's going to open a neutral hero build here with the Ancient of War being made first. Near a creep camp. Mokba, if you're watching, take some fucking notes, my guy. I still have yet to see you do an Ancient of War creeping. After 15,000 games. And Necropolis Crypt on the other side, standard macro build for Sheik, who, since he's playing as Night Elf, I'm assuming he's going to be playing with air and gargoyles and all that. How much can I zoom up? At the most. I would have expected more. So you should watch Starbuck against Soin Map 1 if you ever bought. That game was crazy. I think I caught some moments of it, maybe. I'm thinking about watching some replays of uh, Rara later and casting them. We'll see. So what is it going to be? I guess Panda, like, pretty likely. And on the other side, DK. I don't think that against Elf, the Pit Lord build is common, so it should be DK Lich Red Lord usually. I caught a little bit of Starbuck against Ponty earlier, and. Uh, Starbuck, you can tell he hasn't played much FFA or something. Like, the way he was playing was, like, kind of like what we saw from Blade earlier. He really looked like, you know, a solo player playing some FFA, FFA-like map for the first time. Like, he had a knight in his composition. He was overproducing breakers. Still worked out well enough for him that he got the win. Tinker first, by the way, not Panda. I guess it's better to go Tinker for the creeping because of Pocket Factory. You can actually level very quickly. Like, this game mode is a lot about greeds. Like, you want to be very greedy because you know you can be rushed. Then really power level heroes, take bases, tech, get upgrades, and then get ready for the big fight that will come later on. Cheek on the other side. Going for the expo now. Alright, we got the tech on the way, the expo on the way. Why is he not using a pocket factory for this? He wants to save the mana for... Our player's forces mana. are under attack. And the thing is, going to take a lot of damage. This might not be super worth. I mean, because you cannot get rushed, Lee, this is like the one game mode where you can actually take a lot of damage like this and not really care much about it. Players' forces are right. under attack. A bit early, but I guess better too early than too late with this. You can buy Shredder at 23 o'clock. You see the clock here? If you over it. So here, if I click here, I cannot see it, but here. I guess he'll be almost done with it by the time it's 23. I think he's taking maybe a bit too much damage on the Tinker during the creeping here. Not sure if that's meant to go down like that. Oh, it's almost 23. And then I think after this he can go for the extra expo. Let's see, 10 seconds. And now. 
Is this supply blocked? Oh shit. No, 28 out of 50. I didn't have the gold yet. It is somewhat expensive. Maybe he made one moon well too many a bit early. Hunter Soul on the way now. Gonna end up decently well. We went tier 2 finishes. I think you probably want to cut at 5 archers there. And then second hero will be hired very soon. He's actually going to be a bit low on gold here for a second. Because he has to start tier 3, second hero, and extra base. And he starts the extra base first, so that's going to delay his tech and his second hero. I wonder, maybe he should have skipped on one of the archers there. A Double enchant of war set up to creep with. Tinker already, oh wow, wow, he's actually crept supremely fast. Sheik on the other hand taking the second expo. Crypt, just the one, slaughterhouse being added. I guess you can get the buildings way late here. Really no point in making like four crypts yet. He went breath first. I feel like if you're gonna creep like this, haze is actually really good. So tier 3 on the way, and I don't see any production buildings yet for Starbucks, so he's really taking his sweet time with that. So he actually doesn't have a ton of Wisp build, he has just one here. He's gonna creep a lot of the middle. Remember that he cannot cross this line here. He's just gonna do his two camps. Yeah, this is not gonna work. He cannot go past. You're not the chosen one, Ancient of War. Shredder hired on the other side. An additional crypt. And Dreadlord now on the way. A lore being made in the main. And one in the expo. A player's forces are under attack. And two more crypts now. Okay, so we're gonna go up to four crypts. So obviously, he's gonna have some statues with it. Oh, he cannot access this. He threw the fucking. <laughs> what is he doing? You can't cross the map! Starbuck, what the fuck? It's top to bottom, my dudes. Where are you going? He's wasting time! A player's forces are under Starbuck! Oh my god, man. Cannot waste any time here. Sheik certainly isn't wasting time. So we got Dryads pumping, double wind at the expo. It doesn't feel like a whole lot of scouting has been done by either part. No third hero yet. Be like a priestess, demon, keeper, all options. I don't think Warden. I mean, Warden would be like triple AoE. Starbuck is on 51 supply. Second Shredder is there. He could detonate when Wisp, I guess. I, I think he's just gonna break. Yeah, he wants to go up to enough Wisp. Sheik on the other side is still on 50. Yeah, so it's very early break. I mean, not very early, I guess, like, usually you break, like, a minute later. Ring of Art, Magi. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, Master Training on the way. He gets Demonic Figurine. Remember, the halfway point is there, so we can do this. I, th I don't know why you went for this. You could have just done this, and then orange. Who will be aggressive first? That's the question. Once the timer ends, they might still be creeping, both of them, for a while. Oh, he forgot shop, I think. No, never mind. There was one here. Yeah, he needs to start stacking up these uh, orbs here. Maybe buy double orb right off the bat. And keep a third it is. So they will be entangled for some CC. He 
You could go into Thorns. The dream is you get to Tranquility, but with the hero being May 3rd and one, set, one minute left on the time, are pretty unlikely to get there unless they have like a long and epic game. I don't really like having a Shadow Priest, but a player's forces are like he needed attack. the healing for a while. 53 seconds. He's gonna do two camps at the same time. Oh, he has to retrain. He only bought one orb. Starbuck actually not working with a lot of gold right now. He's getting nature's blessing. Alright, here we go. Dome. He's gonna do this. He has wards as well, he can set up one here. Yeah, retraining very important. Maybe get a invuln. Yeah, there we go. Sundead definitely need one of those. Seven seconds. And Sheik is still creeping as much as he can. 73 supply. Starbucks 61 right now. Hasn't pumped, hasn't pumped any uh, hippo yet. Actually, don't know if he's got it at all either. Upgrade wise, we're working with 2 1 right now for Sheik. Wasn't queued anymore just yet. Double roost here in the corner. It actually looks like that's where Sheik is going somehow. And that level 4. He's gonna hit here. Yeah, I guess he just assumes this is not even taken. A player's he's actually a bit far from the army. Maybe he's gonna sack the expo here. It might be worth creeping a little bit extra. And then Hippos now pump him. Is it Thorns? It would make a lot of sense. Yeah, it is Thorns. Alright. So at least level 1. And this is going to be found instantly. I feel like he should just get Hippos and Dryads against this, but you know? Maybe Mass Dryads, but it might actually be okay. See those rockets. And that comes in. Oof. That hurt. Oh, he used the invul. I think he just didn't want to get slept. Oh my god! How many scrolls do we have? We have two more scrolls. Woohoo! Every time a combo is used like this, that scroll's having to be used immediately. And that's taking a lot of damage. Demonic figurine wasn't used yet. It's gonna TP from the panda. And whatever hippos get made gets sniped instantly. And Sheik is on the warpath, he's gonna resupply on these scrolls. Double. He used all the three that he had. Nice dog. He actually baited it out of him. He just used Haze. And then now that this was used, he's on cooldown. Oh, there's no stuff on the panda. Pinker might be dead. Not having boots sucks as well. Like, you're supposed to have boots on that guy. Does have Moonwells to work with? Keep her back on the way. Maybe anti magic potion too. Would be nice. Starbuck trying to buy time here. Under siege. Expo will get cancelled. That one, I think he's just dead. We have more hippos, but it's like how many gods there is. Right, Starbuck made it to 74 supply. He should have spent a full mana here before he engages. Okay, he has multiple anti-magic potions. He needs to use the demonic figurine in the fight. 
Because you could actually cripple maybe like one of the heroes and use... Actually, Stomp and Rain of Fire probably is the way to go. Shake looking for more levels. Town is under siege. Players forces are under attack. Starbuck is just sacking expos here to try and get more levels. I don't know about getting corrosive breath for a unit you're not even making any at all off right now. If you could get Panda 5 here, the dream is alive. Are under attack. What is it? Another fucking demonic figure, and he needs to use those. Even just to harass, like... Yeah, go there, Rain of Fire a bunch. We disrupt the economy, saving them for the fight, I guess. A player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. And no Vakarian is gonna do work as well here. Alright, let's see if rockets and all of that jam can do a lot here. Woof! I heard. A tangle. Shiki's trying to tenderize the army with Nova Kalyon from afar as well. Ninety-one supply for Shik. Yes, two scrolls on the DK. Kind of weird. Like, oh, three actually. One of those needs to be on the Dreadlord. They do have a cooldown once you use the first. Yeah, Shik going for hundreds. Senses, you can finish it. A player's forces are under attack. Starbuck trying to re explore wherever he can. He's on the chase now. If Starbuck clears out this army, by the way, he's gonna get insane levels. But against this many scrolls, four heal scrolls. He needs to abolish immediately. A lot of damage as well. Whoopsie. DK will TP out. Inker taking a lot of damage. Oh! Four hit points! Sheesh! So Sheik needs to heal up and then move back across the map very quickly because now Starbuck is mining. Let's see, 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay, don't have the extra expos, but Sheik is mining at 4 here. He's getting fully taxed by the high upkeep. If Starbuck had one more expo, I'd say he, does, he had his chance here, but the fact that this one is not even mining yet and he has to make the Wisp is just really bad for him. If he had scouted a bit more, he could have sent one of the Shredder here to, to attack the Acolytes, or even this one. That would have, that would have bought, bought him more time. Panda gets 5. It's actually, instead of running across the map, goes for one more count. I think he's trying to get 5 5 5. One bear. The one bear that feels like a complete intruder in this army.
A player's forces are under attack. The town is under siege. Oh, the demonic figurine is still there, by the way. One more base will fall. Not much gold left in the main. I'm a bit surprised Sheik is playing this team. I guess he wanted to like let the statue heal his DK up before he attacked again. That might be the one way. For Starbuck to have a shot is like target the DK, force the TP out, buy more time. Because if he can keep expanding, he can catch up in supply. And then eventually, I mean, that AoE is fucking ridiculous at this stage. But yeah, some boots on like his Panda and Tinker would have been amazing. We couldn't afford this. What the fuck is she doing? He just kind of ran in. Keep his force. Ninety-two supply to seventy-three. How many scrolls we got? Three again. And a demonic figure in four shake this time. He's gonna TP down there, isn't he? If he does, he should use the demonic figure in first. Oh my god. That's fucking close. Tinker has no orb though. Neither does Panda, what the fuck? I guess he was just kinda broke the whole game. Oh shit. 